contract and squeeze and empty. Again, collecting, gathering, directing, connecting. your awareness to what's here now. Never mind that we are encouraging this nourishing, grounding, evolutionary process. Forget about the breath, just the fact that you're here and now on your mat, in your body, is a huge step in the right direction. So either focusing on any part of what I just encouraged, or putting it all together, just spend a few more moments, a couple minutes, sitting in this present moment awareness with our breath. And if you didn't know, now you know, all your stuff is there. There you go, there you are. You in all your glory. All the thoughts, all the emotions, all the physical sensations, you're gonna meet them. And for now, the only work is to respond with your breath. So whatever arises, whatever thought, whatever emotion, whatever physical impulse or sensation arises, Respond to it with a breath. Doesn't go anywhere. Gets louder, gets bigger. Again, just respond with a breath. There's your work. I bet you just met it. Right? That's what we're working with and on and through. It's got to be done. At any point in this practice, if you need to do you, if you needed it, you have permission. So if you need to just sit here for longer and breathe and feel and hear, and cry, I don't know, right? then you can do just that. In any of the postures, if you want to turn them up or turn them down, you do that. If you need to rest in child's pose or shavasana, you do that. And maybe what it's time for is bringing the palms, the hands together, the thumbs, the center of the chest. Make this your own. What is this, what purpose does this serve for you? It might be focus, it might be intention, it might be prayer. Don't do it because everyone else is doing it. Do it on purpose, with purpose. Cecily paid me the best compliment I can imagine the other day. She didn't say it to me, right? That'd be asking too much. But I heard her say, whatever he turns his attention to, he makes better. Now that's not necessarily true. <laughs> not everything. But that's certainly my intention. That's my effort. And it goes way back to being on sports teams and, and, and athletics. I was never the most gifted, the most talented, 
but my effort, my intention was always to make the team better, to make those around me better, to fill that role. And I've brought that to my practice. Wherever my intention goes, I make the effort to learn, to grow, to evolve, to improve, to sharpen, to open, to heal, to make better. I fail more often than I'm successful, but that does not deter me. I am determined to get all the way home. And I'm determined to help as many others get there as I can. So maybe take that on. Right? If you need intention, if you need purpose, maybe it's to make these spaces better. Do your best. We do our best until we know better and then we do better. We start with ourselves so that we can move out into our spaces and make them better as well. And then when our spaces are clear, healthy, right, then we can move out into the world again. It's going to happen soon-ish, it's relative. But hopefully we can bring that energy out into the world as well. So whatever your purpose, whatever your intention, maybe you frame it as prayer. Get as clear as you can. Aim higher, maybe. We're in good company. We'll get there quicker because of it. And we'll send all that stuff out with the sound of three ohms. You're welcome to join me in them. Or just let mine and Cecily's wash over you. Right? Wherever you are, exhale completely. Go all the way to empty. We'll take a unified breath. So a full breath in together. And maybe you pause. And a complete cleansing breath out together all the way to empty. Exhale more and again pause. Three ohms if you're inclined when you're ready. Inhale to chin. If you're ready for it, go right into down dog. If you're not, right, do what you need to do. From your seat, it might be a child's pose for a handful of breaths. Right? You can stay just centered and grounded, or maybe you walk your hands from side to side, just so tune into the side body. Right? If you're good, maybe it's hands and knees. Right? Get onto your hands and knees and just check in with the joints, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders. Maybe you swing your tail around a little bit and check in with the, the waist and the hips. Right? And then, right, we all know that cat-cow stuff. So from your hands and knees, it might be an inhale to tip the tail up, lift the chest, look up. And as you exhale, plug the tail around the spine, drop the head. That might be really nice for a few moments. And I really meant it. If you're ready for down dog, right? You go right into it. And if you can skip the, the, the playing with it and just turn it right on because we've been working on it for years, right? If you can go straight to that down dog, then you go straight there. Right? And take your time. 
Always take your time, whatever you need. Right? Cat cowing, and maybe the ribs move side to side, they roll around, they roll one way, then the other, you rock back and forth. The wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, the neck, the ankles might be telling you that you're not for down dog today. You might not be, that's cool. Maybe it stays as a child's pose or the work in the hands and knees or something else. When you're ready, you go. Okay. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Yeah, and whatever you need to do. Okay. We're going to meet in a downward facing dog. There's nothing wrong with a five minute down dog if you went there right away. You don't, do you have to fidget? Remember, if you can, respond to every b thought or emotion or impulse or sensation. Respond to these things with breath first. Take a breath. Let it go. Take another. Really receive these messages and maybe you can stay. Inner hands pressing, fingers spread, inner hand connected, pressing the front of the mat away from you to get the hips as far from the wrists as you can. Right? Get really long, lengthen the side body, lengthen the spine, lift the hips higher, arms are gripping, right? maintaining all of that, down through the legs evenly. Right? Heels a little bit wider than big toe mounds, pressing down to turn the legs on. If you have to walk them, of course, do that, but maybe you just grip quadricep, lift kneecap, plug that in. Breathe and take three more breaths just right here in a downward facing dog. An inhale to lengthen and an exhale to press down through the heels and really grip. Okay, two more breaths like that. Throughout the practice, Cecily is going to be playing along with you guys here. So if you ever need to look at her, of course you can, but maybe you don't. Maybe you can just stay with your breath in your body with your practice. Do your thing, take one more here, full breath in. Complete breath out. This time on empty, soften your knees, look forward, and as you inhale, step, walk, or scurry, top of the mat, both feet. And as you arrive, you're lengthening to shift the weight forward. And as you exhale, fold. And maybe just do that a few more times. Use the breath as you inhale, yeah, let it lift you, lengthen the spine forward. Maybe the legs go straight and strong, and as you exhale, allow yourself to release and hang out over those legs. Let the head go completely, go to empty. Maybe do that a couple more times. Inhale to lengthen. Be there at full, get into that habit, and as you exhale, you fold. Don't wait for my cue, go all the way to empty. Maybe one more time like that. And inhale to lengthen. And then exhale to fold. And then take a breath or two here. Maybe you swing around a little bit or shake it out or flutter your lips. I don't know, all your things. Yeah. And then in your way, when you're ready, come all the way to standing. And you can roll up within a breath or two. You can just stand up. You can reach the arms out and stretch them overhead and reach up. Right? Whatever suits you. And then maybe with the next exhale, you land in Tadasana. Same thing. You're going to feel the itch. The mind's going to say this or that. Right? You're going to have this habit of a little dance. Meet all these things with a breath instead of a fidget. Right? And then take another breath. And if they're still there, right? if you're really that itchy, then of course scratch it. Knowing that Ram Das, our teacher, says meditation is being aware of the itch and not scratching it. So maybe we turn this practice, this movement practice, into a moving meditation as well. Right? Skip the impulse. Respond with breath. Exhale completely here. A really simple little vinyasa. We're going to inhale and lift the arms up overhead. At the top, lace the fingers, turn the palms, press up, head to neutral, and as you exhale, we're going to tip to the right. Push the hips left. And then inhale, come on back up to center, lift, lift, lift. And as you exhale, tip over to the left, push your hips right. Inhaling again, lift, lift, lift. This time as you exhale, we're going to fold. We're going to dive forward, out over the legs, all the way to empty, hands down, head down. Exhale more. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Strong legs, long spine, pause. 
As you exhale, fold again, go all the way to empty. And then in your way, as you inhale, you rise, inhale, pressing down to reach all the way up. Maybe look up, stretch up, and as you exhale, release the arms, the chin, and the breath. Perfect. Twice more like that. Inhale, head to neutral, lift the arms up, lace the fingers, turn the palms, and press. And as you exhale, tip over to the right. Keep the left shoulder back, push the hips left. Inhale, lift back up to center. And as you exhale, tip over the other way, to the left. Right shoulder stays back, go to your edge. Inhale, come all the way back up, press down, press up. And as you exhale, release and fold forward. Yeah, soften the knees as much as you need to bring the hands and the fingertips down, release the head empty. The inhale is a halfway lift, lengthen. And as you exhale, you fold again. And you wait for your inhale to rise. Inhale, heart forward, arms out, lift all the way up, reach up, look up, stretch. And as you exhale, release the arms and stand tall. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, head to neutral, lift the arms, lace and press the fingers, press the palms. And as you exhale, tip to the right. right? Go as deep as you're going to go. Inhale, come back up to center, lift, 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 up through the waist. And as you exhale, up and over to the left, pushing the hips to the right. Inhale, come back to center, press down, press up. And as you exhale, release and fold forward all the way out and down. Wait for the inhale, your breath, lengthen forward, full here, strong legs, long spine, pause. As you exhale, fold again, all the way to empty. And as you inhale, you rise, strong legs, long spine, reach out and up, be here. And as you exhale, release the arms and stand tall. Just one breath, whatever the impulse is, respond with that breath, full breath in. Complete breath out. Exhale completely here, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach out, reach up. So sun salutation, stretch here, be here in full. Your exhale, you fold, dive forward, all the way out and down. The inhale, the lengthening is to get the weight into the hands. So shift the weight forward to the hands, step or float back, and as you exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Drop the knees if you need, go to the floor if you like. Wait for your inhale to lengthen, lift the front body. So maybe the hips stay on the floor, or maybe it's that upward facing dog. And then it's your exhale that sends you back to down dog. Lift the hips, straighten the legs, drop the head. Three breaths here. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to ground, to grip, to empty. Twice more like that. Full breath in. Pause it full, and when it's time, go all the way to empty. Those pauses are important. One more breath, I lost count. Take one more breath. Exhale. This time on empty, soften the knees, look forward. And as you inhale, travel, step, walk, float, top of the mat, lengthening as you arrive, same breath. Fold as you exhale, all the way to empty. Inhale, you rise. Press down, reach out, reach up, and stretch. And then exhale, stand tall. Simple vinyasa. We're going to do a few more. You're welcome to just go with your breath. As you inhale, you reach up. And as you exhale, you fold. So by now, deep in your own breath, just let it guide you. The inhale is to lengthen and prepare. You step or float, and you use the exhale to lower. You can skip the push-up or add extra push-ups in if you like, knock out two or three here maybe. Use an inhale to find the lift. And the exhale takes you all the way back, downward facing dog. You can skip the push-ups as well. You can go straight to down dog. Your down dog can look suspiciously like a child's pose. And if you ever wanna stand on your hands, use the walls around you, whatever your practice needs to look like, you do that. Exhale completely here, go all the way to empty. Probably one more breath. Full breath in. Complete breath out. On empty, soften, look forward, and as you inhale, travel, step or float, 
Lengthen as you arrive, as graceful as can be. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. All the way up and up. Reach up, stretch up. Exhale, stand tall. A couple more, just flow with your breath. Inhale to reach. Exhale to dive. Right, Learning a little bit with each breath, maybe. Inhale to lengthen and apply what you learn. Plant the hand, step or float. Skip it, add extra push-ups in if you like. Lower halfway or all the way if you're flowing. Lengthen, lift within the inhale. Not my cue, your breath sends you back, downward facing dog. Three here, I know you can count to three. Right? The fourth inhale will bring you forward. You stay longer if you like. Maybe one more. When you're ready, on empty, soften, look forward, inhale to travel, step or float, lengthening, same breath as you arrive. Wait for the exhale and fold. And use the inhale to lift, to let it lift you. Press down and reach all the way up, stretch up. And as you exhale, release the arms and stand tall. We're gonna do one more, right? Follow your breath. Circle the arms overhead within your inhale. Wait for your exhale to fold. And you go all the way to empty. Maybe exhale more at the bottom. The inhale is to prepare. Setting the hands, you step or float. Lower halfway or all the way. Lengthen, lift, open up. And all the way back, downward facing dog. Perfect. Three breaths here. Yeah, I love it. Some of you are doing push-ups. Some of you are skipping the push-ups altogether. Right. Doing what you need. Right. Which might not necessarily be what you want. Maybe what you want to do is watch everyone else practice and scratch your butt and play with your hair and check Instagram. That's what you want. What you need probably is to get grounded to get centered, to find balance and equanimity. Right? Maybe take one more breath here. Let it go. And when you're ready, soften, look forward and travel. And then fold. And then we rise, inhale, out and all the way up. Be there, like make it sing, stretch. And then as you exhale, let it all go. Not attached to any of it. And just stand here, respond to whatever it is with breath. Right? Notice yourself fidgeting. And then just respond to that with breath. And take another breath or two here. Feet, legs, spine, back body lifting. Release the jaw. And maybe one more breath, a full breath in. And a complete breath out. Bringing your feet together might help for this next bit. You don't have to. All the way to empty. As you inhale, keeping the head down, lift the arms up again. At the top, lace the fingers, turn the palms, press up. And then as you exhale, sit down. So bend the knees. If the feet are together, the knees can squeeze together. Lower the seat as much as you can manage. Maybe bounce a little bit, maybe rock back and forth, or ski the knees side to side, whatever you need to do to find your depth, right? Exhale completely there. Lift the navel, lift the heart. Take the arms back maybe behind the ears and straighten the arms. Exhale completely, sit a little bit deeper. We're gonna pulse. Inhale, straighten the legs, press up, dropping the head. And as you exhale, sit back down. Bend the knees, squeeze them, lower the seat, keep the arms straight. Again, inhale, straighten the legs, press up. And as you exhale, sitting a little or sitting a lot, keep going, keep exhaling, sit deeper. One more time, inhale to straighten, to lengthen. Exhale, you sit. Find your depth and you stay. Two breaths here. Lift the navel, lift the heart, arms back and straight. Inhale. 
Exhale, sit a little bit deeper. Amazing. Inhale, straighten the legs, press up and stretch. Exhale, release the arms and fold forward, dive. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen, get the weight into the hands and you travel your flow straight to down dog, do your push up, halfway or all the way, whatever you need. Right? We'll meet in downward facing dog. Exhale all the way back, down dog, empty. We're gonna lift the right leg up as we inhale. So if you inhale, lift the right leg up, and I wanna give you space and a few breaths to do what you need to do here, right? Open the hips, bend the knees, circle the leg around, stretch back, right? Tickle your neighbor if you got one, a few of you do, right? There you go, give the dog a little pet, right? As he walks through, that's awesome. Right, and then come back to center. Inhale, really stretch that leg, reach. And as you exhale, we're gonna bring the knee to the nose. So we're gonna bring the right knee to the nose and squeeze in for a moment. Go to empty and then up and back again. Inhale, lengthen, lift up. And as you exhale, again, rocking forward, knee to nose, all the way to empty or knee to forehead if you can. Inhale, up and back again. One more time, knee to nose, squeeze in. This time, stay for a breath. Inhale, puff up. Exhale, squeeze the breath, squeeze the knee in. Beautiful, inhale, up and back one more time. And as you exhale, take the foot to the floor. Back to that down dog, land it. Take a breath or two here. There you go. Hands, arms, spine, hips. If you need to flow forward, down and up, you can do that. We'll meet back in down dog. Exhale completely here. All right, and then we'll just do the other side. Left leg lifts up. Inhale, lift the leg, and do what you need to do, right? Maybe what you need to do is not lift your left leg up. That's cool, right? Maybe you bend the knee and open the hip, whatever, whatever little circles you need to find. There you go, and come back to center. Inhale, really stretch that leg, press into the hands, reach the leg, and as you exhale again, knee to nose or forehead or close-ish. Inhale, up and back again. Really take that moment to stretch it full, and as you exhale, we're going all the way to empty. Knee in, rocking forward slightly, rounding the spine. Inhale, up and back again. Exhale, squeezing in. I'm gonna stay here one breath. Inhale, let it all puff up, push the floor away from you. Exhale, squeeze even more. Beautiful, inhale, up and back, and stretch. And then exhale to land that left foot beside the right, down dog. You can stay here, you can rest, or inhale, come forward to high plank. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way, right? We'll meet in a downward facing dog. If you're resting, you join us when you're ready. We'll exhale back, downward facing dog, empty. This time, we're gonna step the right foot to the right thumb, turn the left heel in, foot at an angle, hip squaring, lunge right leg, inhale, reach up, look up, warrior one, and as you exhale, take the hands down, Step back, either straight to down dog or do your push-ups, right? We'll meet in down dog or inhale, lengthen, lift the front body. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Left foot steps to left thumb, right heel turns in, lunge into the left leg, inhale, peel up, reach up, look up, be there. And as you exhale, release the hands, frame the foot, step back, and again, I'm going to stop saying it so many times, you have permission. Straight to down dog with child's pose or cycle through your flow. We'll meet in down dog. We're going to do that again. All the way back, empty. Right foot forward, left heel in, lunge into right leg. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, step back and do your thing. You go, you flow, you rest, you play. All the way back, downward facing dog, and then right away, left foot forward, right foot planted at an angle, lunge into left leg, all the way up. If you inhale, reach up, maybe look up, and then all the way back down, land the hands, step, and do your thing. Beautiful. Add extra breaths in, stay longer in one shape or another, you're welcome to. We're gonna step again, this time we're gonna stay, so down dog, Right foot forward, left heel in. Set yourself up for five breaths here. So if you need to spend more time with the feet or ensuring that that back leg is straight or the hips are level and squaring, do that work. Lift the back body, lift the side body, then lift the chest and the arms and the gaze. 
Right? We'll call all that three breaths. Exhale completely. Take at least two more here, moving towards that full shape. Inhale to lengthen, to expand. Exhale to squeeze and stretch and ground. One more breath here, full breath in. Complete breath out. We use an inhale to get to that full pose, make it sing. And as you exhale, release the hands to the floor. Step back. What do you need? Be aligned with, attuned to what's going on in your body as it shifts and respond to those messages appropriately. Down dog, exhale, left foot steps forward, right heel turns in, squaring, lunged into the right leg, left leg, sorry, as you inhale, peel up, set the hips, the ribs, the spine, the shoulders, the arms. Exhale completely. Right. Couple more breaths here. Full rounds of breath all the way in. Right. Pause there and then all the way out. Always exhale that much more at the bottom. Take at least one more breath here. Full round. Exhale. One more inhale. Make it sing. Full pose. And as you exhale, hands to the floor. Step back and cycle through or go straight to down dog. Right, what do you need? Don't be lazy, but don't overreach. Right. Find stability and rest and equanimity in down dog, and if you can't, child's pose is always an option. Two more breaths here, what do you need? All the way out. On empty, when you're ready, soften, look forward. As you inhale, travel. Step or float as you arrive. Fold as you exhale. As you inhale, you rise. Push down, reach out, reach up, be there. And then exhale to stand tall, release the arms. Whatever the impulse is, respond to it with a breath. Through the magic of Zoom, I can still see you fidgeting, if that matters, right? Just notice that you, you, I mean, notice and come back. Do the feet, do the legs. Lift the back body, release the jaw. Deep, deep, deep breath. Find your heartbeat. wonderful world of interoception, being aware of your inner environment, deeply profound experience, important skill to have, can be as simple as finding your heartbeat in your chest. Stay like that as long as you need. When you're ready, from where you are, we're going to take a big step with the right foot to face the side of the mat. Perfect. A nice wide stance. Left toes are in a little bit. We point the right toes towards the end of the mat. Right? Feet planted. We're going to lunge into that right leg. So we're dropping the hips, trying to keep them level and opening, spreading wide across the front of the pelvis, right knee to the right. Outer edge, left foot planted, left leg strong, right? With that kind of stable, supportive foundation, right? Get the ribs, the shoulders over the hips. Lift straight up, lift the back body maybe, lift the chest. And then we add the arms in, then go to shoulder height. We're going to play with a little bit of a mandala here with the breath, yeah? So we're going to exhale completely here. We'll do a few rounds, but don't worry about it too much. We're going to inhale and lift the arms up. Keep the gaze forward, bring the palms together, stretch up. As you exhale, we're going to bend the arms and bring the elbows to shoulder height, so cactus the arms. As we inhale, we're going to bring the forearms, the elbows and the palms together. And as we exhale with the palms together, we're going to straighten the arms out in front of us. And as we inhale, we're going to open the arms back to that warrior two shape. Exhale here. We're going to do that a few more times. Inhale to lift the arms, stretch up. You can look up. 
And as you exhale, drop the elbows, bend the arms, cactus in them. Inhale, forearms, elbows, palms together. Exhale, straighten the arms out from the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms back to that warrior two shape. Exhale here a couple more times. Inhale, reach up, stretch up, maybe look up. And as you exhale, drop the elbows, shoulder height. Inhale, forearms, elbows, palms together. Exhale, extend the arms straight out in front of you, palms still together. Inhale, sweep the arms, shoulder height. Exhale here one more time. Inhale, lift the arms. Stretch. Exhale, cactus, drop the elbow. Empty. Inhale, bring it together, stretching the upper back, the shoulders. Exhale, straighten the arms. Inhale, sweep open. Exhale, land here. Beautiful. One breath, full breath in. Complete breath out. And as you inhale, straighten the right leg, release the arms. That was a lot of work. We've still got more to do. So maybe roll the shoulders and the wrists. Switch the feet. Right toes in, left toes out. Right, same setup. We're going to bend into that left leg. And as you bend into your left leg, we're working to make sure the knees are tracking straight through the toes. So maybe take the left knee left. And as you go into that left leg, make sure that right foot is planted. Outer edge. And then from that awareness, up through that right leg, it's straight, it's strong. Pelvis, play with it, it's level, the hips are level, it's spreading wide and opening. Right? And then from that strong, supportive foundation, lift. Right? Straight up if you can. Right? Lift the ribs, lift the, lift the spine, lift the back of the head. Beautiful. And then float the arms, shoulder height. Perfect. Okay, we'll go through that same mandala five times. Exhale completely here. Inhale, reach up, look up, stretch up. Exhale, drop the elbows, cactus the arms. Inhale, forearms together. Exhale, extend, follow your breath. Inhale, sweep open. Exhale here. Inhale, lift, reach, look maybe. Exhale to drop the shoulders and the elbows. Inhale, bring it together. Exhale, extend forward. Inhale, sweep open. Exhale here. Keep going. I know it's a lot. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, dropping elbows. Inhale, squeeze the forearms together. Go to empty. In, sorry, exhale, straighten. Inhale, open. I know I said five, but let's just do one more. Inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, elbows drop. Inhale, bring it all together in front of you. Exhale, stretch the arms forward. Inhale, sweep the arms open, shoulder height. Exhale, land here, and just take a breath, full pose, full breath in. Complete breath out. Beautiful. Inhale, straighten the left leg, release the arms, turn the left toes in, bring the hands to the hips. If you need to roll the shoulders or move them around at all, that was a lot of work, you do that stuff. Feet planted, legs strong. I want you to spend as much time in or moving into a back bend here as you like, right? So with the hands on the hips, maybe you lift and lengthen the front body, create length and space, and you can stay or Use an inhale to lift back up and an exhale to fold forward, right? And if the way is clear, I might ramble on about what I see, but if the way is clear, you go. The hands come down, right? We want to shift the weight back and forth maybe, right? So focus on the feet and where the weight is. And then from those feet, start thinking about your legs, right? I can still see them and they're still not straight and that's okay. But that might be where your work lies. So maybe you come up out of the fold a little bit, use your blocks or coffee table or child as a pro, I don't know, whatever you're using. Right? No one's using a child, don't look, it's all good. Inhale, find length. And exhale, fold deeper maybe. Yeah, whatever this needs to turn into. But we definitely wanna get the feet planted, 
and get the legs stronger and longer and more supportive. So if that means only a halfway fold, then do that. Take three more breaths here to work yourself to your depth. And if you don't start straightening your legs, I'm going to start calling you out individually. No, I'm kidding. Back off the fold maybe and turn the legs all the way on. It's the key to this shape. And take one more breath here. Take one more breath here. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips, bending your knees or bringing your feet in if you need to. Inhale, come all the way back up. Take a moment here. Right? You can step, hop, or heel toe your feet together, release your hands, and just land them. Just land for a moment. Bring your feet out wide again, nice wide stance. Perfect, same kind of setup, maybe not quite as wide, but the left toes are in and the right toes point out. Legs are straight and strong and they stay straight and strong. That might be your work for this month, right? Inhale, float the arms back to shoulder height. Exhale here to maybe lift and wiggle, looking out over the right fingers. As you inhale, we're going to reach out along that right leg. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen at your edge. Just release the right hand to the knee or the shin or the ankle. If the way is clear, you can reach straight up right away. But most of you know how I feel about triangle. I'd probably encourage you to take your left hand to your hip to get the feet really set. Legs straight and strong. Right? Straight, strong legs. Push the hips forward and lean back a little bit. It's behind you. Use that left shoulder. Roll it back and down. Use the inner edge of the shoulder blade to turn the chest towards the ceiling. And if you can keep all of that, maybe you reach that left arm straight up. Maybe you look up. But if that messes with your shoulders or your spine or your legs or your breath, maybe keep your hand on your hip. Yeah, Haley, I would lean back a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might even come higher to really lean back. Turn it into a balance pose. Turn it into a side stretch. Never mind the forward fold. Take two more breaths here. Full breath in. Complete breath out. One more breath. Full pose for you today. Exhale completely. Look down grounded as you inhale, come all the way back up and you can just switch. If the way is clear, keep the arms, switch the feet and go. If you need to let the arms go, let the arms go. You guys know this speech. You've heard it a few times, right? Plant your feet, get your legs. Lift your ribs, float the arms. Inhale to lengthen out through that left arm and at your edge, left hand down, right? And if the way is clear, Right arm extends, we look up. If the way is not clear, yeah, I get the blocks. If the way is not clear, right, do the work, hand to hip, get the feet, turn the legs back on. Put, yeah, perfect, Jacqueline, push the hip forward and lean back, right? Exaggerate that, lean way back, lift the chest, arch the upper back, right? This is a twist, and any twist is helped by a little arch in the upper back, so lean back. Yeah, Delphine, go further back. Right? And then with all of that, with using that top shoulder blade to turn the chest, maybe you reach straight up. Maybe you look up. Roll the left shoulder back and down too. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Go inwards. Couple more breaths here. Full breath in. Complete breath out. Yeah, lean back, Bruce. Keep going back. One more breath here. Full breath in. Complete breath out. And looking down grounded as you inhale, come all the way back up. Hands to hips, left toes turn in. Take a moment here if you need to walk or to shift or to roll. Feet nice and wide. We're gonna fold again and play with it a bit. 
Inhale, back bend if you like, if you need. Use the length and space in your breath as you exhale to fold forward. Okay? Now we're all going to shift the weight forward and lift halfway. So inhaling, shift the weight forward, seat in line with heels, legs straight, walk the hands forward so they're under the shoulders, probably off your mat, the feet can go wider, improvise with your props if you need, right? So we're going to turn this into a twist. We're going to inhale and lengthen, bring the left hand to center directly under the face, and as you exhale, take the right palm flat to the sacrum, pointing the fingers back, pointing the right elbow up, inhale, find length. And as you exhale, we're turning to the right. We're twisting here, right? So just keep doing that. Pushing the floor away from you with your feet and with your left hand. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, turning. Use that right shoulder blade to turn a little bit deeper. You can stay with this work as it is. Maybe you like to reach that top arm straight up. You might even look up. The further you get from the floor, so even fingertips, might create space for you to twist. There you go, you're welcome to ask your roommate or housemate or significant other to adjust you here as they walk by. There you go. Maybe you grab the right ankle with the left hand. Right? You can play with all that stuff. We'll take a few more breaths. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. Two more. Full breath in, that might back you off. Complete breath out, all the way out. One more breath here. Exhale. And then use the inhale to release. So come back to center. Whatever you need to do, bend and straighten the legs, fold a little bit, lengthen and lift, right? Because we're going the other way, right? So when you're ready, use an inhale to lengthen, right? Take the right hand directly to, under the face to center. Inhale to lengthen. Left palm flat to the sacrum. Use your exhale to start to turn to the left. There you go. So bringing the focus maybe back to the feet for a moment and then into the legs. The weight is forward. Push the floor away from you, not just with the feet, but with the right hand, maybe tenting the fingers. Inhale, find length. Use that top shoulder, roll it to turn the chest toward the ceiling. And you play. Use your breath. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. Any variations, you can grab ankle with right hand, reach the arm up, look up. Take a couple more breaths here. Full breath in. Complete breath out. How about one? Exhale completely. And then inhale to release when you're ready back to center. Whatever little movement you need to reset or move that stuff along or through or out. There you go. And then when you're ready, inhale, lengthen forward. This time we're going to heel toe the feet in, probably about as wide as your hips. Heels are in, toes are out, and we're going to squat straight down. Right? I say we because I'm going to join you. So whatever organization you need, right? However, whatever turnout of the feet is appropriate, you can play with the width. If the heels don't land down, maybe the hands stay on the floor. If the knees don't close out completely, you can sit on a block or two or a dozen books. Cool? You can stay released and rolled inside the legs or bring the palms together, the outer arms to the inner knees, and lengthen and lift, find your squat. If you're inclined to play with arm balances, crow or handstand or whatever, you can do that now. Otherwise, just stay grounded, releasing the knees to deepen the squat, to stretch the hips. Turn back to the breath. Maybe find the heartbeat again. And you stay like this as long as you need. From here, a bit of a different transition, we're going to bring the hands down to the floor in front of us. 
We're going to lift our heels and walk our hands forward. Keep lifting your heels until you can bring your knees down. If the knees are down and they're wide, keep walking the hands forward, right? So they end up under the shoulders and bring the inner edge of the feet down. Toes point out, heels below the knees, right? So maybe there's a lot going on there. We call this frog pose. You might want to cushion the knees a bit. You're welcome to move around in your space or grab blankets or fold mats. The knees are wide, right? The instep, the inner edge of the feet is down to the floor. The toes point out and the heels are directly below the knees. There's a 90 degree angle there. You might want to rock your weight back and forth a little bit. So maybe the seat goes towards the heels. Maybe the seat comes forward ahead of the knees. You can rock back and forth. Right? Maybe the knees spread wider. You can play with that. A lot of us might need to keep the hands down right? and the spine long and so this halfway lift. And if it's available, right, you can bring the elbows down. And if that feels good, some of us might need to spread the knees wider, get the hips deeper. Maybe you come right down onto your chest. I don't know. You do you. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And you can come out. Cecily's coming out to grab a blanket, probably. You can come out to cushion the knees a bit more. There we go. Remember, potentially said that these shapes should be comfortable. Comfortable shapes that you can hold steady. And then we energize them. If your knees hurt, you're probably not comfortable. Right? So if you're just powering through it and putting up with pain, is it yoga, at least by Patanjali's definition? So make sure that there's a level of comfort there. And you know this because you can breathe without struggle. There's no tension. There's effort without tension. And no, oh yeah, we're talking comfort, we're talking relaxation, but without dullness. So you're very much present, you're very much awake. You're just allowing ease to enter. And as you do that, maybe you take the knees wider. Sink a little bit deeper. And if you really want to embrace the teachings of yoga, right, and you're suffering here unnecessarily, maybe you back off. Breathe, breathe, breathe. five more breaths, knowing that it might just have opened up for you, and maybe you go a little bit deeper. And there can be movement, sometimes movement is the way through, you can rock back and forth, just try not to fidget. Couple more breaths here. And if this is your favorite pose, which I doubt, you're welcome to stay. If this is your least favorite pose, which it might be, you're welcome to stay. When you're ready to come out, if the hands, if the elbows are down, replace the hands. And then we'll just real gently Right? Once you find your hands, just sort of work the knees towards each other. Come up to those hands and knees, that tabletop. Bring the knees together, the feet together, sit back on your heels. And maybe just find a child's pose for a few breaths here. And if you can skip or want to skip the child's pose, you can turn right back on your mat and find downward facing dog. That's where we're going. Okay. So feel free to rest or respond when you're ready. We're going to come back onto our mats.
and find another downward facing dog. And if you find that down dog, if you need to move a little bit or come forward to a high push up and lower through and back bend to wipe some of that stuff out, you can do that. Take a breath or two to meet us in down dog if you're coming along for the ride. Exhale all the way back when you're ready. One breath here, full breath in, a complete breath out. Now we're going to a wide lunge. If you can step your right foot outside your right hand, great. If you can't, great. Just step the right foot forward to center. Left knee comes down, and then heel toe the right foot outside the right arm, outside the right shoulder. Yeah? So the foot ends up wider than the right arm. Arm and hand inside the right knee and shin. Okay. Left knee can come down, the hands can stay planted. You can just breathe right here. Right? Just another angle into these hips. If you want to fire this up, you can tuck the left toes under and lift the left knee up off the floor. Right? So you can stay with this version of it. Whether the knee is up or down, if there's space or openness in your hips, maybe you walk the hands forward and bring the elbows down. And there is a, a path through this shape, and if you know it, you go. Right? And if you're getting all the feels here, maybe you just stay and breathe. Okay. Again, sometimes movement's the way through. You might want to play with a bit of a twist. You can turn into the right leg. You can even turn away from the right leg. I want to give you permission if you need it to bend that back leg and catch the back foot. You can play with that kind of stuff. Right? Really, especially in these times with this in, in these Zoom environments, do your thing. Right? Do your thing. Start before the Zoom call. Keep going after I end the meeting for everyone. Right? And in these moments, if there's something that you need or something you need to address or inquire into, or a tangent you need to go off onto, go for it. And maybe left knee is down, the hands are planted under the shoulders, and you're just breathing here. And what we're going to do from here is heel toe the right foot all the way across the front of the body. So heel toe the foot, so the toes, the left foot, or right foot, sorry, is behind the left wrist. And then we're going to drop the right knee over to the right behind the right wrist. I usually draw my left heel, my left book, foot back towards my left hip. So I close this angle to keep my knee happy. And then what I like to do is get upright for a few moments. So with the left knee down, maybe left toes still tucked under, tucked under. Maybe walk the hands back to bounce into the hips a little bit, put a blanket or a cushion underneath the right hip if you need the support. You can stay upright or start to walk the hands forward. Right? Maybe the elbows come down. Keeping the hips squaring, so right hip back, left hip forward. The waist long, the spine long. Breathe, 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 and you go on your trip. Yes, we're walking each other home, of course we are. Right? But we also have our own little side trips or excursions that we need to take sometimes. Okay, so whatever this pigeon pose needs to look like, and if any of you are not suited to this pigeon shape, you can look at what I'm doing here. Just sit on your seat, take your hands behind you, bend your knees, and just take your right shin across your left knee. You can do this little figure four stretch, either on your seat or lying flat on your back. Yeah, perfect, Brent. Amazing. Okay, whatever you need here. About five more breaths. A 
but four more. The mind will go. We just bring it back. Itch is without scratching it. After about five breaths, you stay longer. In your way from here, we'll meet in downward facing dog. So plant the hands, tuck the back toes, get that right leg back. If you need to swing it around or walk it out, you're welcome to. Maybe you don't. Maybe what you need to hear is just go straight to down dog, turn it all the way on, and listen. Feel the effects of what you just did. Right? Maybe you don't know what comes next. Maybe you don't know the answer. There's nothing wrong with that. What an opportunity to listen and learn and align and tune in. Perfect. And then whatever your process is, we're going the other side. So you can step that left foot outside the left hand directly, right? Or you bring the left foot to center between the hands and heel toe it over to the side. I encourage you to take that right knee down at first and just feel what's going on on this side. And then, whatever the, your part of the trip looks like, you can just tuck the back toes, lift the back knee and work here. Or if the knee's still down, you can lengthen and deepen, walk the hands forward, bring the elbows down, and then lift the knee up. There's binds here, there's arm balances, there's twists and quad stretches. And we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just right where you are. Deep, full breath. And relax the jaw, unfurl the brow. Breathe, breathe, breathe. When you find these shapes that you're going to keep steady, focus on the breath. Find the heartbeat again. few more breaths here. And then it's the same journey. So when you're ready, drop the back knee, replace the hands, heel toe the left foot over to the right. Maybe pull that foot back towards a little bit to close that angle in the left leg. Drop the left knee behind the left wrist. Come upright for a few moments to tune into what's happening here. Check out that right leg if you need to. Hips are square. Maybe left hip supported. And again, whatever your trip looks like, you can lengthen and drop into this. Or you sit back with the left ankle of your shin across the right knee. Right? You can play with that shape. Even lie on your back and hug that into you. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Perfect. Once you've found your place, maybe it's five deep breaths. but a couple more deep breaths. You 
stay longer. Of course you stay longer if you need. When you're ready, you plant the hand, you step that left leg back with as little or as much ceremony as you need. I'm going to find that downward facing dog in your way. And I'm going to let you carry on with all that. When you're ready, from that down dog, we're going to inhale and come forward to a high plank. And we're going to exhale and lower all the way to the floor. And once we land on the floor, real simple, we're going to turn over onto our backs, right? Carefully, mindfully, flipping over. And as you land on your back, maybe you draw the knees in towards your chest, give yourself a hug, a squeeze, a little rock, a little roll. Okay. We're going to back bend and then twist a little bit and then rest. I'm going to go about five minutes over till about 11.35, which I apologize for. If you need to check out, you check out. If you can stay, stay. If there's anything else that you need, right? If you would prefer to go through an inversion or a forward fold or want to go straight to Shavasana, you do all that stuff. If you're back bending, feet to the floor. Right? And you're welcome. If you're, if you're ready, plant the hands by the ears and you lift all the way up, Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward facing bow. Whatever your back bending practice looks like, if you have one, you go. If you like, maybe you keep the shoulders down. Really plant the feet and just lift the hips up. Right? Yeah, we want to get the hips nice and high. So we're pushing to the feet, pushing to the shoulders to lift the hips. Yeah? And as you lift the hips with the shoulders down, if that's what you're playing with, Maybe you start to walk the shoulders deeper underneath you. Okay. Lots of different things you can do from here. You can place a block nice and high under your sacrum, that big bone, not in your spine, but in that bone at the top of your tail, below your discs. Okay. Or you can bend the elbows and catch your waist with your hands if your wrists and shoulders are good. You can even grab your ankles with your hands if you're that deep. play with this, I would encourage you one nice long back bend. Even if you're all the way up, even if you're going for it, stay. Stay five, six, eight, ten more breaths. Right? That's all I got. If you need to come out and come back in or go deeper or back off, you do all that stuff on your own. Keep breathing. Chin away from chest, chest towards chin. Listening to the breath, to the messages, to the heartbeat. Right? Call that five breaths. Maybe you stay five more. Right? Again, come out to come back in, or stay in, or go deeper. Lift the hips higher. I bet you can lift them a little bit higher. There you go. That wasn't for you, that was for that was for Durham. And Bruce. There you go, buddy. Couple more breaths. And you're welcome to stay longer. When you're ready, whatever it is that you need to remove, the block, the hands, the shoulders, roll all the way back down. Don't run from it, just land. Lower back flat, maybe feet a little bit wider, drop the knees to touch each other. Right? Really feel supported here as that pose continues to play out through you. And then maybe from here you go right to Shavasana. Or maybe you wipe the knees from side to side. This is familiar for a lot of you. Right? Just wipe the knees back and forth a few times to work out whatever's going on in and around the lower back, or the waist, or the hips. Right? Maybe next time you come over to the right, you stay in whatever kind of reclined twist you want to get into. Five breaths here. 
and then you go to the left, right? If at this point you want to get the legs up in the air, that might be nice. Or if you want to rock back and forth and fold forward at your last shape, you can do that too. And if you're good, right, if what you need most is to lie flat on your back for these extra couple minutes, then you do that. If you've twisted one way, maybe it's time to twist the other. It's gone 11.30, so if you do need to go, right, if someone's waiting for you, right, please do, but maybe take the spirit of Shavasana with you, right, stay relaxed, stay grounded, stay calm, right, let everything go, and if at this point you want to get up and go out into your beautiful yard that you've been working on and sit under a tree for a few minutes, you can do that. effort and the tension that was keeping you separate, that was holding you up, maybe you can melt that stuff, let the legs and the arms relax, the shoulders release, let the jaw soften, let the eyes sink deeper. Let even the breath go. You'll continue to be breathed. We know this, you can relax and trust that. So let any effort in the breath go and relax. Completely relax.
staying longer. Definitely recommend staying longer. Even going deeper. And if you're ready, or you got somewhere to be, maybe you come back slowly. Present moment awareness, take a breath, wiggle the body in some way, the fingers, the toes, the wrists, the ankles. That long morning stretch might be real nice about now. Reach the arms overhead and stretch, stretch, stretch. And let go. Whatever you need to do get to a seat, and maybe that's spending a few moments on your side in a little ball, maybe the right side. When you're ready, come all the way up to a seat. And this is another spot that I would highly recommend just staying in. And if you're good for my guidance, you can even and the, like, leave the meeting and just move into your meditation practice or your pranayama practice. Right? Or whatever arises, yeah. You're welcome to do your little bit of healing on your own, knowing that we're all there with you. Otherwise, maybe just a couple more minutes here. Feeling, appreciating, observing the effects of your effort, the betterment of your inner space, which will only lead to the betterment of our outer spaces as well. Whatever the work looks like, whatever the healing, evolving, understanding, stepping into, whatever that looks like. Be aware of it now. Huh. Look at me. Here now. Safe. Supported. Balanced. Centered. Awake. Day, or maybe the hands come together, thumbs to heart, lift the chest, drop the chin. A few moments of gratitude for whatever arises. There's really so many things to be grateful for. Maybe things we took for granted in the past that are the most important things in our lives now. Whatever comes to mind, a little bit of gratitude goes a long way. Me, I'm grateful for you. I appreciate your efforts. Super grateful for Cecily for being such a great student, practitioner, and teacher. It's a perfect time to say until next time, thank you. Please stay in whatever your practice needs to look like at this point. A few things I want to highlight or remind you of. I've recorded this practice separately, not with your faces, and I'm going to put it on YouTube just for you guys. Like I did last week, I'll send you that little private link. So please use it in part or in whole um, to keep practicing through the week. 
and you can fast forward, you can rewind, you can replay or pause and just catch little bits that you need maybe. Or use it every day, every morning, every night to, to do a daily practice. Right? And if you have any questions, let me know. Right? We've created this as a two weeks in a row. I think 25 of you returned from last week and I'm hoping you return next week if you can. Um, but we can build something really special here. Um, so I want to hear from you. Um, more of something, less of something, do this. I think maybe there's offshoot sessions where we just do pranayama and meditation at a different time. Um, Cecily teaches on Wednesday at 5. Um, I'd love for you to join us. I'll be there for that. Right? Um, and then just in general, how are you doing?